All right, I'm going to show you how to um, remap your motors quickly. So we're going to go on beta flight. We're going to plug the quad in. This is for if you uh, have installed your 4-in-1 upside down or sideways, something like that. Okay, so we're going to click connect. Then we are going to go to the motors tab. We're gonna click this little thing here. Then we're gonna move over to the quad. We're going to plug the battery in and we're gonna run up the motors and see which motor is which right now. So I'm gonna start with ramping up motor one. And you can see motor three is going up. Now two. Motor four is moving up. Three. Oh, just cut power. All right, so we know basically that we now know that it's going like this one two three four when really it's supposed to be one two three four okay so it's obviously upside down so we're going to go back to beta flight and we are going to click on the cli first thing we're going to do is type resource hit enter and then if you scroll up at the top that'll show you your motors right there Motors one, two, three, and four. So we're going to next, you need to do this. You have to free up the uh, motor. So you type resource motor one none, N-O-N-E. Resource motor one none. Okay, then you hit enter. You do that for all four. So resource motor two none, resource motor three none, and if you do it right, it'll say resource is freed. Resource motor for none. Okay. Now we know that motor one is supposed to be right here, but instead motor, th uh, that would be three. When you spin it up in beta flight, if you spin up motor three in beta flight, this one spins instead of the correct one, which would be this one. So. For motor one, we're going to type resource motor one, and then uh, where it says motor three, we want to be motor one. So next to motor three, it says C08. So we're going to resource motor one, C08, enter. Resource motor two, and then two, if you go back and look, so we got one because it's backwards we're counting over here one two three four so motor two is motor four so we're going to resource motor two and then we're going to look up here at four four says co9 so we're going to put co9 resource motor three and three we know was one okay so we're going to go look up here at one co6 for three and then the last one resource motor four Four would be two. So we look at two, CO7, CO7, enter. And now we just type the word save, hit enter. And now it should be good to go. So we're gonna test it. So we're gonna go back into the motors tab and we're going to spin them up. So now we'll spin up motor one and it should be this one that spins up now. And there you go. Motor two uh, keeps cutting the power. It's because I have this this thing connected because I'm using the XT30 and this is an XT60. So anyway, you get the point. It's all correct now, so that's how you do it. Uh, I'm not very good at explaining things, but I thought maybe this could help somebody out there. I don't know. Hopefully. Anyway, all right.